Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting, I, I got to read the box, the name is too crazy, Winchester Deer Season Copper Impact XP 125 grain out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. And here's the box for that Winchester Deer Season XP Copper Impact stuff. We'll flip it around so you can take a look. I hope you can hear it. It's getting a little bit windy. I'll hold that still right there. You can pause and zoom in and read that stuff if you want. It's got your ballistics info, your promo information. Basically, this is an all-copper bullet with a ballistic tip to initiate just rapid expansion. Really curious to see how this will do in the ballistics gel. A lot of people like this stuff from what I understand. We'll open it up, take a look at the ammo comes in your classic Winchester styrofoam uh, organizer here. The brass looks pretty good. A lot of times Winchester ammo can be dingy in my experience. Move that so we can focus and it has one heck of a ballistic tip on there. It's got just that is huge so hopefully this will really blow up in the gel and, and perform as advertised. And the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor of course we've got a 22 inch barrel up top I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40 and bringing up the rear of course I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs this rifle's name is Pig Ugly you can kind of see it behind the cartridges there check out my website masonleather.com to get one for yourself I would love to make you one and I want to show you over here on the other other side we've got my wild boar design we'll be taking three shots from 100 yards firing into 10 percent ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the fbi's ballistics testing protocol and while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other after the shots we'll examine bullet expansion weight retention penetration and velocity my goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. All right, we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Winchester Deer Season XP Copper Impact stuff out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. It did flop the blocks around. I just set them up so we can go ahead and measure penetration. And we got some absolutely insane penetration. This bullet right here is about 30 and we could give it 30 and three quarter inches. And then the one right here, which almost came out the bottom of the block because I flipped these over so we can see them better is right at 27 and I mean the base is out the base is at 28 and a quarter inches that is crazy and it looks like we did get some expansion as well not a whole ton of expansion but I think for what these bullets are for you really want the penetration and just some mushrooming and we definitely got that coming over to the front block they opened up pretty good we have a wound cavity between about the three inch and it's kind of closes off and the nine inch mark is really good. That's about the same as what we're seeing for most 6.5 Creedmoor ammo. And unfortunately I did lose the third bullet. It zipped out the side of the block somewhere. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Winchester Copper Impact Deer Season XP stuff. Ooh, looks like we got a duplicate velocity. That's a good sign. Our high was 27.89. Our low was 27.83 and our average velocity was 2785. And here we're looking at those Winchester Deer Season XP Copper Impact bullets recovered from the ballistics gel. First, we'll talk about weight retention. Respectively, we saw 120 and 123 grains for 122 grains of weight retention on average. That works out to 98% retained weight. Nothing unexpected there. These are solid copper monolithic bullets. I would think they would retain close to 100% of their weight, and we were right up there with that. And then as far as expansion goes, we saw 0.6 inches and 0.65 inches, respectively, for an average of 0.63 inches of expanded diameter. That works out to 2.4x expansion. We beat my 2x benchmark that I like to see for most hunting calibers, so that's good too. And now we'll talk about velocity. Our high velocity was 2,789 feet per second. Our low was 2,783, which I have to note, that is an insanely small spread. We only had a six foot per second spread between the high and low. That's incredible. You almost never see that. 
our average velocity was 2,785 feet per second versus the factory build velocity of 2,850 feet per second. So it came in on average 65 feet per second slower than factory build. Nothing surprising there. The factories use really long barrels, controlled environments. We're out here in the real world with a 22 inch barrel Ruger American. We got what we got. And so far these bullets have performed really, really well. The weight retention expansion, even the velocity is all really good. But where these bullets really shine was in penetration. Respectively, we saw 28 and a quarter inches and 30 and three quarter inches of penetration. So the overall average was 29 and a half inches of penetration. That is absolutely insane. I like to see 20 inches plus in a medium game hunting bullet, and these blew way past that. All right, y'all, final thoughts on that Winchester Deer Season XP 125 grain copper impact load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. This bullet performed incredibly well. We got 98% weight retention, which is sort of expected from a solid copper monolithic bullet, but hey, we got what we asked for and what's advertised, so that's always good. We saw 2.4x expansion, which is really, really good. That's sort of in line with what I'm seeing from most 6.5 Creedmoor hunting ammo. And then penetration-wise, this ammo really took off. I got my cheat sheet here. We saw, where is it, 29 and a half inches of penetration on average. Now that makes sense because we had incredible weight retention, that bullet's gonna zip right on through. This one penetrated deeper than the Federal Premium Terminal Ascent that I also have recently done a video on. Check that out if you haven't. And if you live in a state where you can't use lead bullets for whatever reason, this could be a great option. I am really looking forward to testing other Deer Season XP copper impact loads and other calibers in the future because this stuff just performs so incredibly well. If this particular load shoots accurately in your rifle, whether you live in a state where you have to use solid copper or not, I'd say go for it. This stuff performs. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.